Hello, everybody. David here from the Mixed Reality team in Microsoft. And so in the previous video, we took the HoloLens out of the box. We learned how to put it on and fit it uh, nice and comfortably on our head. We learned how to flip the visor up and down, and we are now ready to set it up. So we turn it on by pressing the power uh, button here. You just need to press it once and um, and yeah, very slightly you press it, you tap it and it will start. And so I will, so unfortunately I can't show you directly from my HoloLens because uh, that stage what you will be seeing at that stage, you can't really record from your HoloLens or screen share. That comes until after the setup. So since I cannot show you directly from my headset, what I will do is I will be guiding you from the documentation. Remember, we talked about that it was going to be coming your best friend uh, in the previous video. So uh, let me share my screen and here we are back in the documentation. So this is for your reference. Here also you can reference back on how to then adjust your HoloLens if needed. And if you want to know what all the different uh, LEDs, um, when they turn on, what do they mean uh, about charging and all that, please feel free to come back here and check it out. So we're gonna be going on how to set it up, okay? So you've turned on your HoloLens, you hear a really nice music in the background, you put your visor down, and what you will see at the very, very start is a nice flow of lines and light. Um, for me, it seems like a type of Chinese dragon in a way or not, that it's uh, moving and flowing, it's really nice. Then after that, you're gonna see a Windows logo pop up and you in order to progress to the next screen what you're going to do is with one of your fingers uh, stretch it out and just tap it or press it and then from that you're gonna then see my one of my favorite parts of the HoloLens which is a hummingbird. The hummingbird will come out uh, and it will be flying in front of you. You stick your hand out and wherever you move your hand, uh, the hummingbird will follow. You do that for a couple of minutes and then you will see another button appear with an arrow. You click on that again with your hand and you're going to be asked what language would you like. Um, then after you've chosen your preferred language, then you choose your location. And then we're going to go into, remember that in last video we mentioned that the way to know if your HoloLens is, is well fitted on your head is if you will see all four corners of a square. So you would have heard by now a voice saying that please make sure that you can see all four corners of the square. Please do not click next until you actually can see them because this will impact your experience down the line. So what you want to do is uh, you might want to adjust the head strap at the top or with the dial, but that way or push the HoloLens slightly like down or up and make sure that it stays there again by adjusting the dial and the head strap. So once you've managed to do that, then you will and you click next it will ask you to connect to a network and here it's quite important that we're we will be assuming uh from here onwards that you will be using your hololens within a working environment for a corporation or business so the very first time that you're connecting your hololens we recommend that ideally if you can, it's on a public Wi-Fi just for the very first time so you can uh, connect and access um, your mobile, your MDM mobile device management, uh, which we will be using Intune. So then you can download all the respective configurations. We will get into all those details later. <coughs> Sorry. Um, 
and we will talk about uh, security, how you can protect your device and all these different things at a later stage. So once you've connected, you will then asked, be asked if you own the device or if it's work, as we said, uh, make sure you choose that your work or school owns it. And uh, you will he from here as you, when you click it, it will ask you to put in your credentials, which your uh, IT department should have given you. And these will be your Azure Active Directory credentials as well. And it will ask for you to verify who you are. Uh, the very first time you connect, uh, you will have a multi-factor authentication. So it will ask you either with a phone or depending what you and your company have set, uh, what that MFA will be, you will be asked to do it. So remember, you do have to connect your HoloLens. The HoloLens is designed as a cloud first uh, device. So the best performance that you will ever get at HoloLens is when it's connected to the cloud. So again, don't worry, we will go through all the different uh, security configurations and settings. Um, for now, uh, make sure you choose that your work or school zones it. You will put in all your uh, credentials and then uh, you will go through different stages, which you then decide if you want to use speech recognition or not. Uh, we recommend that you do because this can make then using the whole lens very handy uh, down the line. Um, regarding what types of data will um, you would like to accept or not, that depends on your company policies. So again, make sure you're coordinating with your IT department on these type of things. Um, then you will uh, get an eye calibration uh, so uh, the HoloLens 2 has eye tracking and this is, is very useful for a lot of things, but one of it is a lot of where the, ho the holograms are placed uh, really depends on each person's then uh, eyes and and so you will have a quick calibration where you'll be asked to follow the uh, gems with your eyes and it runs a calibration and it sets the device specifically for you. Uh, then you will, uh, after you've gone through all these different stages, the last thing is you will get shown how to uh, open the main menu and that is done pretty much by putting your hand outwards and the and in front of the hololens and you will see that on your wrist the windows logo will appear it works with either hand and all you have to do is press that windows logo with the opposite hand and it will start but we will go through that in the next video when we show how to interact with the holograms and how to open apps and also lots of different exciting um, applications. See you in the next video.